Okay. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay. Like Are any of your children slow? As molasses? <laughs> yeah. Hurry up. <laughs> My daughter was so bad that I used to tell her half an hour before it was time to go. It's time to go. Let's get ready. Half an hour later. We moved to bed. That's the only way we would be on time. Okay, what if I were to sign this? Pants. 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 Okay. It's we're pants, well, slacks, jeans. Sometimes you might see people signing jeans, but that is very, very, very English, and that's very, very much from the 70s. Okay? <laughs> so. um, and cool what if I wore, these bibs are a special overalls. kind of pants. Overalls. Bibs or overalls. Yep, bib pants. Big during the 80s, 90s, I don't know, we used to always wear farmer bibs. Farmers. Okay. I miss <laughs> the <laughs> farmer bibs. Yeah, I'll just get you I still have to prepare for 2014. <laughs> I wish. What if I was wearing shorts? These? I would be wearing shorts. And if I were wearing these? Capris. Capris. And what if I said? Snow. Snow pants. Snow pants. Get dressed in your yes. snow place. Hurry up. Hurry up. Yeah, hurry up. Get dressed in your snow pants. Good. Um, what if I were to sign? Do people say that anymore? What what was the sign for this? This is the water pouring a sweat sweat pants. Sweat pants. Oh. Are they called that anymore? Yeah. yeah. Are they called exercise pants? I don't know. Nope. Sweat yeah, pants. pants. We'll see Do you have pants. to say that? No. Yeah. Do deaf adults probably use sweat pants? Maybe not. I don't know. They probably just but call it, it pants. Right? They probably just call it pants. But think of it this way: if you use it, you're adding vocabulary to your child's language. So the more you give them, the more you'll get back. So your sweatpants. And, and in Min here in Minnesota, you're living in the land of fingerspelling. And so if you want to specifically, instead of always pants, 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 if you want to say jeans, feel free to fingerspell jeans. J-E-A-N-S. But if you call it something else in your language, then you could fingerspell it in your language or just sign it like this. When you speak a different language other than English, don't feel like you have to learn the English to do this. You're just taking these signs and attaching them to your language. Okay.